2018 Jaguar F-Type, Fetal Feline. It may not look old, but the Jaguar F-Type is entering its fifth model year, which typically means it's past time to go under the knife for a little nip-tuck. Evidently, though, Jaguar design chief Ian Callum couldn't find much he wanted to change on his Rembrandt, so the handsome two-seater emerges with just a restyled front fascia. Basically, the two slot-like outer air intakes have been replaced, and new LED headlights with an available adaptive function. Although the design may be little changed. We're not complaining, Jaguar gave the F-Type more substantive updates with new tech as well as new model variants, including, Gasp! A turbocharged four-cylinder engine. F-Type goes for the four. Jaguar tweaked its Ingenium Turbo 2.0 liter in line 4 to make 296 horsepower at 5500 rpms and 295 pounds FD of torque at 1500 rpms. That's 56 horses and 44 pounds FT more than what? This four cylinder turns out in the XE and XF sedans, with peak torque arriving 250 rpm sooner. That's also very near the base supercharged 3.0 liter V6 which makes 340 horsepower and 332 pounds FT. Paired exclusively with the quickshift 8-speed automatic transmission, the four-cylinder F-Type sprints to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, Jaguar claims. A tenth quicker than the manual six-cylinder car. A single trapezoidal exhaust will play an off-kilter version of the V6 engine's boisterous tune. Even with an inline 4's inherent coarseness and vibration, Jaguar hasn't cheated by synthesizing sounds in the cabin. Not R, R dynamic. A newer dynamic model puts a spin on what was the F Type S Coupe and convertible, tweaking the exterior design with gloss black exterior trim and mod specific 19 and 20 inch wheels. It features the supercharged 3.0 litre V6 in 380 horsepower strength which actually makes it less dynamic than the existing F-Type R. With its 550 horsepower V8, and the same choice of rear or all-wheel drive and a 6-speed manual or 8-speed automatic transmission, further up the food chain but still powered by the supercharged V6 is a new, limited edition F-Type 400 Sport. Available in coupe and convertible body styles. Its engine is imbued with 400 horsepower thus the name 400 Sport. It mates exclusively to Jaguar's quickshift automatic, again with rear or all-wheel drive. Other mechanical changes include larger rear brake rotors, black painted calipers, and model-specific 20-inch wheels finished in dark grey. Jaguar's configurable dyna drive mode system is included. It alters throttle and transmission response as well as the steering and the dampers. Inside. There are performance seats one of two new seat styles, both featuring lighter weight magnesium frames, with 12-way power adjustment, black brushed aluminium trim, and yellow contrast stitching. The 400 Sport is a one-year only model and is being offered in silver, black, and white. It also includes the contents of the Sport Design Package with a larger front splitter and side sills along with a dark grey rear diffuser. Rerun, it's what's happening. No model revision can be complete without some fresh technology, and the 2018 F-Type is no exception, even if its biggest tech news is named Rerun. Rerun basically. Enables one to integrate data pooled from the car into GoPro videos, although the GoPro hardware is not included. GoPro footage now can be overlaid with an instrument cluster graphic that shows info such as speed, selected gear, throttle position, steering wheel angle, lateral and longitudinal acceleration, and braking force. In other tech news, there's a new standard infotainment system, Touch Pro. It features an 8.0-inch haptic touchscreen, a customizable home screen, pinch and pan, map zooming functionality, and a 4 grams LTE data connection. New features of the navigation system include the ability to send an ETA to chosen contacts.
the ability to calculate whether the car has enough fuel to get to a set destination, and automatic uploading of routes from a connected smartphone. The 2018 F-Type models, 4-cylinder, V6, R Dynamic, 400 Sport, R, and SVR, are due to reach US dealerships in the spring. Base prices start at $60,895 for the four-cylinder coupe and reach $125,995 for the SVR convertible.